Hi, it's Pavel with a C++ homework from uh, the book starting out with C++ from control structures to objects. And uh, this is another looping exercise. We will write a program that loops uh, through the user entered integers. Uh, if the user enters negative 99, that means the, he wants to quit entering the numbers. In other words, this is the so-called sentinel controlled loop the sentinel in this case being the number negative 99 and after all the numbers have been entered the program should display the largest and the smallest numbers entered so not uh, in our previous exercise we had the largest uh, or smallest or just the largest I, I don't know whatever but this time anyway we have to uh, display largest and smallest numbers that from all the numbers that the user entered so Let's do it. They're gonna be integers. In the, so the let's do a number. That's the number that the user will keep entering. Uh, integer high and uh, integer low. All right. So let's get the user input. So see out. Uh, Please enter whole numbers. Enter negative 99 to quit. Or to quit entering. All right, because the program is not going to quit. It's just going to display the result. OK, so uh, first thing we need to do, we need to make sure that user didn't enter uh, negative 99. So while number not equal negative 99 then we can loop now uh, we need to figure out how to compare those two numbers you know how the number that the user entered to our high and to our low and determine if it actually is higher or lower than uh, the ones that were previously stored. Now the way we can do it is to have a counter, uh, integer counter, and uh, which will increase uh, with the uh, that we will use basically to capture the first two numbers and we will assume that those are the high and the low all right so um, actually let's make we can make this uh it doesn't matter if it's zero or, or one or whatever uh, now if uh counter equals zero which is the initial value which is the first time the 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 first iteration of the loop so if it's zero then our uh well first i'm sorry first we need to actually uh tell the this should be in the loop of course like this and because it's the user input he will input it with every iteration so uh, here's the number okay so we start the loop right away this is false at the beginning so uh, because our number is initialized to zero so it will it will start the body of the loop it will ask for the, the user to enter the number we will store the number now we have to check if it's the first or the second number entered because those we will assume are the high and the low so if this is the first iteration uh actually we just need probably the one so if it is uh, if counter equals zero then uh the num uh, the high equals number and uh 
Else if, yeah, let's do it this, this way. I don't think it's necessary. We could just do it with a, just right here. We could, we could do high equals number and low equals number. In fact, yeah, let's do that. And low equals uh, number. So now we assign some values to our high and low, and we have something to compare it. Uh, we will be comparing it to the other number, to, to the number that the user will enter. So we, we don't do anything with the first iteration. We simply will assign the high and low. Else, in other words, if uh, the counter is not zero, we do the comparison. Now, which is simply if number is greater than high, then our high equals number. Else if else if the number is less than low, then our low will equal the number. Okay, so and let's not forget to increase the counter, otherwise it, it would always be zero, so counter plus plus. In other words, this is true only with the first iteration. After that, the counter will equal one, and this is no longer true, so it, it goes to else, and we will do the comparison. And at the end, uh, after, it's, after the user entered 99, or negative 99, we will output the result. So, see out uh, the highest number you entered was, um, stations would help, was high and line and see out the lowest number, or the smallest, I guess, the smallest number you entered was, that would be the low. All right, well, let's do a quick test. So, we got the, let's enter the loop. Enter 99 or quit entering. Okay, so let's our first number let's say would be five. Then uh, four, ten, six, and nine, and that's enough. So our highest is ten, which is true, and the lowest is ninety-nine because it actually took it as an input instead of the sentinel. So over here. If number is greater than high and number is not equal to negative 99 and over here the same thing we do, we do not check against negative 99 that's the uh, signal to uh, stop the execution of the loop so this is only done if the number is not negative 99 so let's try again and before I do, uh, over here, I will just do a little space here, so it's not so uh, crowded there when I enter those numbers. All right, so let's try again. 5, 10, 9, 8, whatever, 6, 12, and I don't know, 5 again, for example. And that's the one, negative 99. So our highest number is 12, which it is. And our lowest or smallest number is 5, which it is. All right, so it seems to be working. Let's try it again with some uh, 
like uh, the same numbers, for example, five, 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 five. Yeah, it's as high as number five, lowest number five, of course. Now let's do the smallest number first. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the last, uh, uh, highest number last. Let's see if that's going to, yeah, smallest number one, and six. And now reverse it. The largest number first. Five, three, four, three, two, three. And the last one will be the lowest. And it it works fine. So obviously we have a working program here. Um, seems to be working properly. So to uh, recap, we'll check if the number is 99. In this case, if it's not 99, we enter the loop. We'll ask the user to enter a number, which is an, should be an integer. If this is the first number that the user entered, in, a, in this case, the counter equals zero, which it which we initialized here, then we will simply assign high and low to the number that the user entered. Another way to do it, but not very practical, would be let's say you would go, you would assign here integer high equals to, I don't know, 1 billion or something, you know, like some really huge number. Or actually, no, you would, you would assign the low number here, otherwise, it would always be true. But it's a, so in other words, you would. Start, let's say, from zero or something, or negative one billion, and low would be positive one billion. So they would they would not be true right right off the bat uh, when the, the user would enter a new number. But uh, if the user entered actual like one billion and one, then it wouldn't work. So this is definitely much more uh, uh, efficient uh, solution. So simply. Check if this is the first number the user entered and assign the number to high and low. If it is not, then we go to else, which in other words, this is true only the first time. Then we go to else and we'll check if the number the user enters is greater than high. Well, and of course, if it's not also negative 99, which is the sentinel value that uh, stops the loop. If it is true, then uh, high equals the new number that the user entered. If it's low, if it's, uh, I mean, if it's, uh, if this is not true, it checks the else if, if the number is less than low and not negative 99, then we have a new low number. If neither of this is true, nothing happens. We we'll simply go and increase the counter, which is at this point uh, really not being used at all. Again, it is only, being checked if it's equals zero and nothing else. And then we will output the result with simple C out. All right, I hope it helped you and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.